Hello, welcome to this month's video vlog. Today I'm going to talk about how to adjust the retroline system if you determine that the retroline happens to be too long for your water pipe. This topic was discussed in a previous blog video, but today I'm going to go into further detail on how you do it exactly. To perform this procedure, you will need a clean rag, either a pipe wrench, channel lock, or strap wrench, and lubricant. Using the wrench of preference, loosen the large nut that compresses the heat line grommet. Next, pry the red reducing cone off of the heat line grommet. Using the clean rag, wipe any residual lubricant off of the heat line grommet and reducing cone. It is time to adjust the heater length, now that the compression has been removed from the heat line grommet. The heat line grommet will now float freely from the T. Hold the electrical connection firmly in one hand and with the other, grip the heat line grommet and slide the heat line grommet along the length of the heater to its desired location. This will reduce the heater length inside the pipe. Once the heat line grommet has been positioned at the new desired heater length, apply a non-toxic lubricant to the top of the heat line grommet. You will note that the lubricant is being applied to all surfaces that the red reducing cone will contact. This will reduce friction, thus preventing twisting of the heat line grommet when adding compression. Reposition the heat line grommet into the red seat associated with the T-fitting. With the lubricant applied, position the red reducing cone on top of the heat line grommet. I commonly spin the reducing cone just to ensure an even coat of lubricant is applied. Tighten the nut by hand. Then, using the wrench or channel lock, tighten the nut. It is very important to watch the rubber neck of the heat line grommet to ensure the grommet is not turning with the nut. The heat line grommet must remain stationary during this step. If the heat line grommet turns with the nut, stop immediately. Add additional lubricant as viewed in the previous step and try again. Tighten the nut until it is one eighth of an inch from contacting the black T. Do not bottom out the nut on the T. If you do, loosen until there is at least a 1 8 inch space between the nut and T. The access heater can be safely coiled using nylon cable ties. I hope you found this video helpful. We are going to continue to release a video every month. Be sure to sign up to our Heatline newsletter at www.heatline.com and be sure to check out our social media pages. Thank you for watching. Thank you.